I feel breakdowns are crushing the soul of America. And no family is in need. But breakdowns can be repaired and healed if the people are willing to do the work. Brunetta is a 35-year-old who says her relationship with her mother is so broken that she can't even hug her. When Brunetta was young, she and her mom, Brenda, lived with Brenda's mother, Corrine. And it was Grandma Corrine who actually raised her. Brunetta just don't look at Brenda as mother. I'm the mother. That caused a fracture, and as the years rolled by, it became a full-blown break. I called for an emergency family dinner at Grandma's house. How you doing? You look pretty. It's been three months since this family has been in the same room together. My work is to break down the walls of betrayal and resentment and start the healing. I bless this table, this gathering. I bless this food. I bless the earth that provided it. I bless the hands that prepared it. So, Ms. Brenda, what would you like to see happen today? Basically, I would like for my daughter to just embrace me with her love and kisses. You don't think she loves you? She puts up with me. She loves me from a distance. Have you ever asked her? Yeah. And what did she say? She said she loved me, but she take too long to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love me? Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> I mean, I do love my daughter, but sometimes I can't stand her. What does that mean? I what? love her, but I can't stand her. What does that mean? You can't stick. I can't stand my mother neither. You know, it's, it's just. <laughs> Ask her how it makes her feel when you say, I love you, but I can't stand you. Ask her how it makes her feel. Mother, how does it feel when I tell you I love you, but I just can't stomach you? It hurt me because I don't like uh, that. I don't <sighs> like it. You never told me that before. Well, I, I'm scared. If she knew that it hurt you, do you think she would stop? No. Because she said it to hurt me. Bernetta, how does it make you feel when your mother says to you, I love you, but I can't stand you? Um, I think when she says, I love you, meaning I love you because you're my daughter, but I can't stand you, meaning I can't stand the person that you are. Have you ever asked her? No. Ask her. What do you mean when you say you cannot stand me? You get on my nerves. It's just, you just, you make my flesh crowd because you, you don't reach out to me. Tell me the truth. Why you, why it's like this with us? You okay, know. Take a breath. <sighs> Can I just say, and I know it's nervousness, but it just feels so unkind and unloving that the two of you laugh mm -hmm. whenever she gets into a expression of what's going on for her. What did I do wrong? What, where, 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 where did I mess up at? That's what I want to know. In the beginning stages, the foundational stages that you put in the love, the hug and the kissing, I don't think that you did that. I think that grandma did that. So now when I get older and third my thirties, you want me to come and do that, but we never did that. So it's uncomfortable for me. Am I hearing you say that the affection and the attention you got from your grandmother more than your mom? Mm-hmm. My grandmother gave me more emotional support. There's no question here that you guys love each other. Let's mm -hmm. take that off the table. Okay? okay. okay? Mm -hmm. We're not questioning your love. Now, how you define love and how you demonstrate love, I love you, but I can't stand you. You make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> now, that may be in question. <laughs> And what I see is that you guys are fiercely protective of one another. But behind closed doors, it's real nasty. It's, it's nasty, but it's not really nasty. It is nasty. Nasty is nasty. And but that's another thing that y'all do. Y'all don't call a thing a thing. You make up fancy <laughs> names for it. And that's why you're sitting at this table right now. Call a thing a thing. Mm -hmm. You got a daughter sitting here that feels she was abandoned by her mother and won't say it. You've got a grandmother here who is totally out of place and out of line and has squeezed the mother's place out of the daughter's life and nobody will call it what it is. You got a daughter who doesn't feel safe with her mother because of her mother's mouth. She doesn't know what you are gonna say. Let's call a thing a thing, people.